plastic, one of the most versatile materials produced by humans. Its production began 161 years ago in an innocent endeavour to find a substitute to ivory. However, as humans evolved through the 20th century, a greed for speed and convenience evolved with us. As new types of plastic were developed, new uses appeared. Manufacturing became more intense and more waste was produced. In 2021, production churned up 390 million metric tonnes of plastic, with at least 14 million tonnes of this being dumped in the ocean annually, thus adding to the tragic global issue of marine plastic pollution. Follow us as we explore the impacts of different sized plastic found in our ocean. Entanglement of marine species in debris is the largest, most visibly disturbing effect of plastic pollution. Most cases of entanglement are caused by abandoned nets and fishing lines discarded by commercial fisheries, which continue to trap marine life after they are abandoned. This is known as ghost fishing, which this humpback whale has fallen victim to. The amount of fishing gear abandoned annually is equivalent to the weight of over 50,000 double-decker buses. In a single incident, an estimated 300 turtles were found dead off the Mexican coast due to entanglement in this ghost gear. Medium-sized plastic, such as bottles, impact marine life in a different way. In 1966, the first case of marine plastic ingestion was noted in dead albatross chicks. Plastic consumption has since been proven in over 700 marine species. Foraging species easily mistake plastic debris for food, leading to injury and in worst case scenarios, death. It is common for marine predators, such as this dolphin, to consume larger chunks of plastic resulting in intestinal blockages. This results in the dolphin feeling full and prevented her from feeding and she sadly succumbed to malnourishment and starvation. The problem in plastic consumption does not end there. Larger plastics in the ocean are degraded into smaller microplastics by UV radiation from the sun. Microplastics also appear from cosmetics and industrial waste. Their toxicity leads to oxidative damage and abnormal behaviour within marine species. Marine zooplankton at the base of the food chain ingest microplastics, which accumulate in organisms higher up the food chain via consumption of them. Filter feeders such as whale sharks are particularly vulnerable. As they extract food out of the water, it is nearly impossible for them to avoid uptake of microplastics. The extent of these issues is vast and it must be addressed. Humans are the source of plastic pollution. We must be the solution. 20 companies are responsible for over half of all single-use plastic waste in the world. It is vital that government legislation is put in place to control the waste produced by these major companies. There is also a need for policies and appropriate funding to be introduced to deliver mandatory education for larger commercial fisheries regarding appropriate fishing equipment disposal. Current developments are being made regarding the removal of existing plastic in our oceans. An organisation known as the Ocean Cleanup is developing a large net-like barrier that catches surface plastic. Further research regarding bacteria that break down and assimilate microplastics may also be hoped for the future. Although large corporations and the fishing industry should be held accountable for the majority of marine plastic pollution, we are all responsible. As individuals, we should be conscious of our everyday choices and the way we handle plastic. Plastic. We must be the solution.